Hey guys, I'm Akash and welcome to Pavli. So the topic for today's video is send WhatsApp message to student on course enrollment in Graphi. Now suppose guys you are selling some kind of course or created some kind of course in Graphi and you want whenever a new student get enrolled in this course of yours, you want to send them a confirmation message on WhatsApp. Now, manually getting the details of an enrolled student from Graphi, manually composing a WhatsApp message and sending it to the student is very much repetitive and time consuming task. So to solve this problem, in this video, I came up with an awesome automation by which whenever a new student gets enrolled into our course in our Graphi account, automatically a WhatsApp message will be sent to that very same newly enrolled student. Interesting, right? Now you must be thinking how we are going to do this. So to make this happen, we will be using Pavli Connect, which is an automation and integration software. Now, what is the actual step-by-step -step guide to set up this automation and how you can create this automation by yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on the Pavli Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you just have to go to your browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pavli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So after reaching this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I'll name my workflow as Graphi to WhatsApp and click on create. Now we can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we will have to get the details or the data of new student to whom we are enrolling in our Graphi course inside Pavli Connect. And after that, from Pavli Connect, we will send a WhatsApp message to that very same student to whom we have just now enrolled in Graphi course. So here in trigger window, in choose app, search for Graphi. Graphi it is. And after that, in trigger event, we have to select new enrollment. After selecting our trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now we will use this webhook URL to make the connection between Pavli Connect and Graphi. So copy the webhook URL from here and then go to the dashboard of your Graphi account. And after reaching there, on the left side, we can see an option named as integrations. Click on integrations and select third party. And after selecting third party, we will reach on this page where we will scroll down and we will find an option named as Pavli Connect. After reaching to the Pavli Connect, here we can see there are lots of trigger events present over here, out of which we will select new enrollment and we have to paste the very same webhook URL which we have copied from Pavli Connect. So we will paste the very same webhook URL over here, which we have just now copied from Pavli Connect. After pasting the webhook URL, click on test. Now the details of a dummy enrollment, enrollment of a dummy user, a test user is sent on this webhook URL. And we can see that response of that enrollment of a dummy user inside Pavli Connect. So now you can see that just now we have received some response in Pavli Connect. And this is the response of a dummy user whose name is Tarun Mishra. This is the email address. This is the phone number. And this is the course in which we have enrolled that user. So the step one of setting up this automation is successfully completed. We have successfully connected Graphi with Pavli Connect using a webhook URL. And by clicking on test in the integration page of third party integration page, we have also received the details or the data or the response of enrollment of a dummy user inside our Graphi course. So after getting the data for new enrollment from Graphi inside Pavli Connect, we have to send this user a WhatsApp message. For that, we will scroll down in our Pavli Connect workflow and come down to our action window over here. And here in Choose App, we will search for WhatsApp Cloud API. WhatsApp Cloud API it is. And after that, in action event, we will select Send Template Message. Click on Connect. Select Add New Connection. So guys, here we have to connect our WhatsApp Cloud API account. And to make the connection, we have to enter the token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID of our Cloud API account. 
सो गाइज हियर आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड माई व्हाट्सएप क्लाउड ई पी आई अकाउंट बट डोंट वरी इफ यू हैवन क्रिएटेड योर अकाउंट येट वी हैव अ सेपरेट डेडिकेटेड वीडियो ऑन हाउ यू कैन सेटअप योर ओन व्हाट्सएप क्लाउड ई पी आई अकाउंट एंड द लिंक ऑफ दैट वीडियो विल बी इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो सो यू कैन रेफर टू दैट वीडियो टू क्रिएट योर क्लाउड ई पी आई अकाउंट एंड आफ्टर क्रिएटिंग योर व्हाट्सएप क्लाउड ई पी आई अकाउंट यू विल रीच ऑन दिस ऐप डैशबोर्ड पेज एंड एट दिस वेरी सेम पेज यू विल फाइंड ऑल द डिटेल्स टू मेक द कनेक्शन Here we have the temporary access token, the phone number ID, and WhatsApp business account ID. So just copy the phone number ID from here, go to Pabli Connect, and paste it over here. After that, copy the WhatsApp business account ID from here, from this page, and paste it over here. Then it is asking us for the token. In the help text below, it says, "Enter system user generated permanent token as explained here." so the token which we get on the app dashboard page is a temporary access token which means this token will expire every 24 hours but don't worry guys there is a method by which you can generate the permanent access token which will never expire so here in pabli connect connection page you can see a help text over here in this description just click on this and it will redirect us to a page on pabli connect forum and at this very same page you will find all the details regarding your whatsapp cloud api account setup generating permanent access token and other details as well so you can refer to this page to generate the permanent access token and after generating the permanent token enter that very same token over here and click on save i have already made the connection so i will click on select existing connection and click on save so after connecting our cloud api account with pabli connect we will scroll down and we will find it is asking us for the template name now you must be thinking what are these templates so templates are basically some predefined whatsapp messages which we want to send to our users so to avoid the spamming of messages on whatsapp first we have to create a template message inside whatsapp cloud api and we have to get that template approved from facebook or should i say meta and after the approval we can use that very same template to send whatsapp messages to our user to whom we have just now enrolled in our graphy course so guys in the drop down below template name you will find all the templates which i have created in my cloud api account so guys uh, to create a template we will go back to app dashboard page and here in step 2 you will find a hyperlink over here by clicking on this link you will be uh, taken to or redirect to redirected to a page named as message template just a second this was the page and at this very same page you will find all the templates which we have created in our cloud api account can be seen over here if you want you can create your own template message according to your choice by clicking on this create message template button so if you don't know how to create a message template we also have a dedicated video on template creation and what are the features whatsapp message template offers in cloud api and the link of that video also will be in the description box below so you can refer to that video So after creating the template message we basically have to choose a template so the template which we will be using in this uh, video is named as course enroll let me show you okay so this is the kind of whatsapp message i want to send to every user to whom i am enrolling in my graphy course so the message says hello ashi rai so here in body section you will find after hello i have added a number in double curly braces Now you must be thinking what is this so this is basically a variable a body field or should i say a dynamic field so after hello i wanted to add the name of the student to whom i am enrolling into the course so guys the name of the student will keep changing so it will be a dynamic value so to add the dynamic value or dynamic text in our template message we use this kind of variable which is a number between double curly braces So after hello I wanted to add the name so that is Ashirai over here we can see in preview then the message says congratulations you have been successfully enrolled for the core PHP programming course so here in body you can see that after that before course basically uh, I have added another variable so I have I have created multiple courses in my graphy account and the name of the course will also be keep changing according to each enrollment so we will enter the name in which course we are enrolling this user over here After this the message says kindly visit the course page to access the course thank you regards so this is a simple message which i want to send if you want you can send some kind of header files like an image video or a pdf file or some header text with your whatsapp message as well 
and you can create your template message the body of your template message according to your choice in the temp create message template option so course underscore enroll we have to select this very same template inside Pabli connect so let me select course underscore enroll now after selecting the template the language code and template id is automatically detected we don't have to make any changes over there after that it is asking us recipient mobile number so here we have to enter the recipient mobile number to of the user to whom we want to send whatsapp message so we have received the details or the response of the newly enrolled student in our trigger window from graphy and in this response we have also received the mobile number of this very same person so we have to basically map this very same mobile number over here in this recipient mobile number field but the help text below it says enter the recipient mobile number with country code without plus sign so we have to enter the mobile number with country code like 91 is the country code for india and then the 10 digits mobile number but we don't have to add the plus sign over here but the response which we have received has plus sign in this response with the mobile number and country code so we basically have to remove this plus sign from here for that we will just scroll down and uh, before our action step of WhatsApp Cloud API, we will click on this Add Action Step button. And we will use Text Formatter by Pabli, a feature by Pabli Connect to remove the plus sign from this number. So here in Choose App, search for Text Formatter. Now after selecting Text Formatter by Pabli, in Action Event, we have to select Split Text. Click on Connect. Then it is asking us text to split that in which text we want to split or make changes. So we want to make the changes or split the text in this response. The label name is learner mobile and this is the response. So we have to basically map this very same response of phone number over here. And the process of mapping is very simple guys. Just simply click on this field and from the drop down below we can see all the responses which we have received from Graphy. And out of all these responses select the response of mobile number. So we have mapped it. Then it is asking us for the separator. So in separator, we will enter the plus sign. And then in segment index, we will select last. And click on save and send test request. Now we can see that the response which we have received from text formatter contains the mobile number, the WhatsApp number of very same student to whom we have enrolled in our graphic course, but the plus sign is removed in this response. So we can send WhatsApp message on this very same number without any changes anymore. So we will scroll down and we will just click here at the in the field of recipient mobile number and in the drop down below we can see two options the response from graphy which we have received and the response from text formatter. So from the responses from text formatter we will map the mobile number. We have used the same process of mapping over here as well. After that it is asking us body field 1 and body field 2. So here in place of body field 1 in our template message, we wanted to add the name of the student to whom we have just now enrolled. So here we will map the name of the student. Just click here and we have received the name of the student from the responses from Graphy. So from the Graphy responses, select the name and map it. And in place of body field 2, we wanted to add the name of the course in which we are enrolling this user. So we will just click here. And from the drop down below, we will see that from Graphy responses, we have also received the course name. So map the name of the course as well and click on save and send test request. So guys, after clicking on save and send test request, we can see that we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that a WhatsApp message with our selected template is automatically sent on this number. So let's just check the WhatsApp account of this number. Okay, so this is the WhatsApp account of that very same number. And yes, guys, we can see that just now we have received a WhatsApp message at this very same number of the user, which says, hello, hello, Tarun Mishra means the name of the student to whom we have enrolled. Congratulations. You have been successfully enrolled for the core PHP programming course. Kindly visit the course page to access the course. Thank you regards. So we can see that we have received the name of the student who was enrolled and the name on the course in which we have enrolled the student with this WhatsApp message and the remaining template message which we have created inside WhatsApp Cloud API. So guys, we saw that the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now let's just test this automation in real time. We'll go back to our Graphy account and then here in content, we'll select a course. 
After that, let's select a course, for example, React.js. After that, go to learner section and then we will enroll a new user in this course. For example, I'll click on enroll. So guys, here we will enroll a new student. Let's enter the name of a student. For example, Ashirai is a student. Select the student and click on confirm. So just now we have enrolled Ashirai, this student into one of our graphy course. And we will see that as and when we enroll this student, automatically instantly a whatsapp message will be sent to the very same number of the student with the confirmation so let's check the whatsapp account of the student so this is the whatsapp account and yes guys we can see that this student received a whatsapp message which says hello ashirai means the name of the student congratulations you have been successfully enrolled for the react.js course so we have the name of the very same course in which we have enrolled this student Kindly visit the course page to access the course. Thank you. Regards. So guys, we have tested this automation in real time that the automation which we have created is working perfectly fine. Now after testing it, we will get back to Pabli Connect and understand in brief that what are the steps we followed while setting up this automation. So at our very first step, we have connected Graphy with Pabli Connect using a webhook URL and we have received the details or the data of dummy enrollment from Graphy inside Pabli Connect via webhook response. After that, the response which we received has the number of oh, had the phone number of the student with the plus sign. But we are using WhatsApp Cloud API to send WhatsApp messages, which does not take the phone number with the plus sign and country code. So using text formatter in the next step, we have removed the plus sign and the response which we received from text formatter was only having the country code and 10 digit mobile number of the student to whom we are sending WhatsApp message. And after that, we have sent all of this data collectively to WhatsApp Cloud API to send those student WhatsApp message to whom we are enrolling into a graphic course. So guys, not just these application, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this very same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this very same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check Pavli Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.